Hey guys, Alan Becker here. So I'm going to talk about how animation versus YouTube was made. First of all, every video that plays during the duration of the animation was used with permission from the owner of that video. That may not seem like such a big deal, but we're talking about YouTubers that have tens of millions of subscribers, YouTubers that are extremely hard to reach. I made a spreadsheet of all the YouTubers I wanted to feature and sent each one an email every month or so until I got a reply. Some replied right away, others never replied after 7 or 8 tries. Some of the hardest ones to reach were Smosh, PewDiePie, and the parents of Harry and Charlie from the Charlie Bit My Finger video. Smosh replied after 7 months and 5 emails. Charlie and Harry's parents also replied after 7 months and 5 emails. And PewDiePie was a special case because I happened to know someone who worked at Maker Studios and that person was able to ask PewDiePie for me. So the acquiring of permission was an ongoing process that lasted about 14 months. I started out the animation by writing a storyline and making sure that it ended well because the ending really defines how you feel about what you just watched. I don't use a storyboard because storyboards help you plan shots and camera angles and my animation is more or less one continuous shot and I don't use camera angles. It's all flat. Also with a storyboard you decide what the setting will look like but in my case the setting is already defined by the YouTube interface so I can't really deviate from that. This was the first time that I hired animators to do actual character animation for me. I would set up the scene by moving some dummy characters around the screen to show where the sticks need to be at what time, and the animators would replace the dummy animation with character animation. This process worked out pretty well. In total, I outsourced 206 hours of work and did 688 hours of work myself. So that means 23% of the animation was outsourced this time, versus 15% when I made animation versus Minecraft. Slight improvement in terms of getting help with my animation. A huge part of the process was watching videos to find moments that could be useful in the animation. For example, videos where the camera is stationary and something is moving in a way that could beat up a stick figure. I spent so many hours watching videos, and since these are very popular videos, it was very easy to get distracted. I compiled and organized these into three categories. Videos that cause direct damage to the stick figure, videos that cause walls or block the sticks from reaching the exit full screen button, and videos that move the exit full screen button around the screen. So there were three main waves of videos, essentially. Initially, I had the videos appear for only a few seconds each, similar to how fast they appear in the vehicle beat-up scene in the beginning. But the problem was that they flashed so fast that I realized that someone watching would have a really hard time processing everything on the screen. It works in the vehicle scene because all the videos are similar, but when each video is unique, a few seconds is not enough. These deleted scenes show you how different it was before I realized I needed to slow it down by a lot. I also transitioned away from using videos made by big YouTubers to focus more on viral videos that were famous in their own right, and trying to show the actual faces of the famous YouTubers instead of just using their videos. The part where YouTube uses videos to speak to the stick figures was a very interesting project. First, I decided what I wanted him to say, then I used a tool called CC Subs to extract the automatic captions of any video and let me search for the words that I was looking for. It was tricky because even if they do say the word that I'm looking for, it's usually blended with the previous word or next word, so you have to find an instance where they say the word on its own or at the end of a sentence. A feeling, like that feeling. After searching through most of the videos of most of the YouTubers, I was able to pull together the sentence. Other than that, the actual process of making the animation required a lot of screenshots. I basically rebuilt the web browser and the YouTube interface by putting together pieces of screenshots and using the same fonts so I could replicate all the text as well. If you are an animator and want to look at the actual project files, I'm offering a digital download of them on my website on sale for the next month. If you are an animator and you don't know about my second channel, definitely check that out. Also, I have a Minecraft channel for anyone who is a fan of Studio Ghibli. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.